So when it comes to revising your story, it is so important to learn how to both receive and give feedback. And I want to explain what I mean by that. So most writers that I know need to rely on someone else to read our story for us to let us know what they think and areas where it could be strengthened, areas that are working really well, areas that could be working better, um, all kinds of things, things that they didn't understand, you know, all kinds of things like that that'll help you because you're so close to your own work, you can't see that yourself. So here are some tips in order to do that, whether it's your receiving feedback from someone else or your giving feedback. A lot of us um, work with others in what we call writers groups where we read each other's stories and then they read our stories and we go back and forth and we share what we think. And you know, you might do that in your class with a partner or maybe with a small group. And it's a great way to get information about how you can make your story better. And if you're not already doing that, I would encourage you to try it. But here are some ideas that you might think about in order to get the most out of that experience. When you are giving feedback to someone on their manuscript, try to always start out with a positive because no one wants to start out hearing all the things that are wrong with their story. It can get really discouraging. So try to find something about their story that really worked for you, that you really thought was, was really great. So start with that. Then when you get to the part of, the, your, of your classmate's story that maybe wasn't really working for you or you didn't understand it or you thought maybe it was slow or it was, you know, it didn't really make sense for some reason, try to frame your feedback in a constructive way. So try not to use words like bad or boring or, or confusing, things like that. Try to say th something like, I thought this part could have been better and here's an example of you know, how it could be better. That's a really positive, constructive way of trying to point out areas in your friend's story that could be better. Um, you know, try to give examples wherever possible. Try to give suggestions wherever possible. Not that they will take your suggestion necessarily, but I find that by giving suggestions, um, usually it'll get somebody really thinking and they can go, oh yeah, I can take that suggestion and do something with it. It gets my mind going. So that's a really great way to share constructive feedback. You know, try to use words like strong, stronger, working, could be working better, as opposed to good and bad. Um, I find that that really goes a long way. And then last, try to end your feedback with another positive. You know, talk about the potential of the story. Talk about overall the, uh, if the idea was really great or something else that your, your friend did really, really well in the story. So those are my tips for giving feedback. Now, as far as receiving feedback, that might be even more challenging and it might be even more important to learn how to receive feedback. The first thing to do is shift your perspective. Um, it's really great to, if you have the perspective that your, your story is perfect or my story is so good and I worked so hard, try to switch that to, oh, it could be better. So if you can try to get your mind to that place it could be better, it could be. So really you're looking to your friend or your colleague as a way to help you make it better. So really if you come to your classmates or friends with the attitude, how can I make this better? And then when they tell you, listen, don't respond to what they're saying until the very end or not at all. Just try to listen, write down what your classmates are saying to you. Um, don't try to defend the story or explain it because the point is if they didn't get it. It doesn't really matter what you intended to write. The point is what you did write didn't really work for them or confused them or whatever. So try to listen and keep an open mind. Sometimes another person's opinion is, is just their opinion and some, not every story is for everybody. So keep that in mind too. But on the other hand, if you hear from multiple people that part of your story is, isn't, 
is too slow or it's it's not exciting or it's confusing or they didn't really get it there's probably something there that you should pay attention to so really really listen and of course the positive things that they say take those and and be happy for those and smile for those and write those down too because when you approach your revision you want to take your strengths and 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 work with those you know if you're really really good at writing dialogue you're probably really good at writing dialogue so really make sure that you're using that strength where you can if you're really really good at at describing things you know use that strength where you need to describe things more so listen um, try not to get upset or defensive when you're listening to someone else's feedback but really take it as valuable because they're you know, others who are reading your work they're they're doing you a favor they're trying to help you see ways that you can make it stronger so when you have that as your attitude you can get a lot out of the process.